Welcome. In this video, we will discuss C language multiple choice questions on TCS mod hiring for BSc and BCA. This is the part four. Here also we will discuss ten more questions, and these questions are came in TCS Ninja for engineering graduate hiring. So follow these questions. Most of the questions are repeated in the main examination. So the question one: How many times loop will execute? Hash include int main int x comma y for i is equal to five, i greater than equal to one, i minus minus for y is equal to one, y less than equal to x, y plus plus. Print out percentage in y. Y moves based on i so that first time five times second time four times like it moves so finally it moves 15 times means so five plus four plus three plus two plus one it will give 15 times which of the following indicate the end of the file option one f e o f option two e o f option three both f e o f and e o f option four none of the mentioned so the answer is both f e o f and e o f question number three where the local variable is stored option one disk option two stack option three heap and option four register obviously it is stored in stack question number four how many times loop will be executed hash include int main int i for i is equal to zero i less than five i plus plus print of hello it will move five times what is dangling pointer option one points to garbage value option two points to function option three both a and b option four none of these so the answer is points to garbage value uh, question number six what is the purpose of eftl option one to get the current file position option two to get the current file attribute option three to get the current file status option four to get the current file name so to get the current file position will be indicated so question number seven what is recursion option one looping option two a function calls another function repeatedly option three a function calls repeatedly option four function call itself repeatedly so <coughs> option four is correct function calls itself repeatedly what is the similarity between enum and struct option one can assign new values option two can create new data types option three nothing in common option four they are same so option two is correct can create new data types both are creating new data types question number four which of the following is not a fundamental data type option one enum option two unsigned long int option three long int option four double so the answer is nm the reason is the primitive data types are integer float character and wide nm is user defined or derived data type question number 10 how many times hello will print hash include int main wide int i for i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus printf hello it indicates a runtime error thank you